All right, I'm here at the Northfield Mandolin Company, and we're just having a ball. We had a couple of days of complete Mando bliss. Uh, I walked into a room of about eight or ten mandolins, all of them fabulous, uh, many of them very different than each other, but kind of distilling things down after after a good year of this wonderful project, working with Adrian and all the guys, and experimenting with you know different kinds of wood, different kinds of bracing patterns. And in all of that, um, we've kind of narrowed it down to two different styles of mandolins uh, and construction and, you know, arguably good for different styles of music, different ways of playing. The one I'm holding right now is a two uh, tone bar and it's red spruce. And uh, that, that's the mandolin that's really uh, the most like an old Gibson Lloyd Lore. And we find that it's um, really great for for bluegrass playing and real hard driving stuff where you really need to lay into the mandolin and, and play it really, really aggressively. And particularly in a band context where there's a guitar and a banjo and a fiddle and a bass. And the mandolin needs to find its harmonic space that's really a, a, a very narrow frequency that cuts through the rest of the band. And that's what we're finding with the red spruce and the two tone bars is, is really heading in that direction sonically and great for that. Not that it wouldn't be great for a lot of other different kinds of playing, but I think you'll hear when I play the other mandolin, it's an Engelmann spruce. It's a real different color and, and, and brings out a different kind of uh, musical creativity in a way that, uh, that, that is, it, it's just apples and oranges. You, know, you can't say one is better than the other because they're both great mandolins. What a nice problem to have, you know. Um, so this has a wonderful chop on it. It's particularly good for chopping. And So what we like about this is a kind of muscly quality in the top end, especially. We call it bone structure to the note, where it really has this, this sort of beef, a kind of knock knock sound. But you get it even in the high notes. You have that kind of mid range support in the high strings. The Engelmann is a completely different um, animal, as you'll hear. So. sustain a lot of richness in the in the individual notes because of all the harmonics you're starting to hear it's braced with five tone bars so you've got a center tone bar and some smaller tone bars here and there which we'll show you on the website but Engelman is a much softer uh, spruce and so it lends itself to a kind of openness and airiness in the sound a lot of sustain and um, and, and so, you know, we braced it with these five, with this, especially the center uh, tone bar, enable us to get the volume, you know, out of the mandolin. And it supports it because we have all these other little tone bars so that it doesn't distort. And because I play so many different kinds of music, I love the sustain of this instrument. It's just like, When you play a really quiet, it gives it just gives you something. You know, it sustains and it it gives you that kind of musicality, that kind of sweetness that uh, that slow playing you always want. Not that it doesn't have some of that. You know, when it comes to chopping, here we go. You know, it's holding its own. 
Or I was think I was playing Salt Creek on the other mandolin. <laughs> its own just fine through there too so you know i think to appreciate the differences you would almost have to hear the the red spruce two-tone bar in a band context with a lot of other instruments and see how that projection works and then the the, the place where this engelman is going to really shine is say playing alone playing a solo mandolin thing or a duo or just a fiddle where you really want a lot of richness in the low end, almost the kind of colors that a mandola would have, where you barely touch it and it sustains. You know, fills out the room just fine. It less less dry, I suppose, is another term. I would use to, to just talk about the differences between these two. So there you have it, kind of an overview of what's going on here at Northfield. And I hope it helps uh, you guys um, identify what, what kind of colors best suit you and uh, what mandolin would work for your, uh, for your playing.